Hello YouTubers and happy 6th of December. So we're carrying on with the Sadvur beer and hops. Beery Christmas, Christmas calendar. Checking out beer is fun enough. Actually, there's not been a single festive theme or Christmas beer in there yet. It's been many different styles, which is nice, but not an actual Christmas beer, which is interesting. But maybe we have one today. So 6th of December, let's see what's in here. Yesterday was pretty fun. It's been a while since I've had a buck like that, uh, or just like buck in general. Like it's not a style I drink that often, but we've got number six here, and it says to enjoy this as well. At into eight int, what the hell? Int? I think I mixed eight and ten <laughs> or something like that. It says eight to ten degrees, good with dessert, and they say especially tiramisu. Interesting. So let's find out what this is. Okay, this is, okay, I've never heard of these guys. White Frontier Brewery, Spectaculous, or Spectaculous Sweet Stout. Okay, cool. I've never heard of this. C-H, Sabur Beer. Where the hell in the world? Are these guys based? I have no idea. On to your next adventure, it says. Beer. This at least has it in English. It says, in homage to that tiny biscuit that pairs with coffee. Oh, okay. Uh, our interpretation of a speculus of a speculus stout is like the celebration of St. Nicholas, but for the grown-ups. So speculus must be some kind of specific cookie that I don't know. So funny enough, I talked about... <laughs> Christmas themed things not being in here and now we got one and I I'm 100% serious I have no clue with any of the beers in here guys I don't like it's a surprise to me I'm pretty baffled oh there we go brewed in Switzerland I think this is gonna be one of the first beers in probably since I started the channel uh, I reviewed from Switzerland I think the last beer I might have reviewed was Simon Klaus but I think that was at, when it was brewed in Austria or is it Bruce not brewed in Austria still I can't remember but this was specially made for the calendar and they interpret the spectaculous cookies. So I guess that's it's like an interpret sweet stout interpretation of Swiss Christmas cookies. That sounds really interesting. Uh, what do we have in ABV? 4.5%. That is very low. Uh, actually didn't expect that, but hey, cool. Let's check out White Frontier Brewery's Spectaculous Sweet Stout and get it poured. Pour is a Pretty black color in the glass. Uh, you, like it's only four point five percent, so you definitely get light bleeding through because it's not as viscous. Like there's reddish notes on top in the glass. Head fizzed away like Coca Cola, pretty much. It was kind of like a nice tan-ish head. Well, let's check out the aroma on this spectaculous uh, stout by White Frontier Brewery. Sweet stout or milk stout. Okay, to me it smells mostly like a standard milk stout, and I can already smell it's going to be kind of thin, I think. I think, though, you can kind of see in the glass there's some, some specks. I wonder if that's like something from the cookies or, I don't know, sugar or something? It wouldn't be sugar because I wouldn't have fermented. But it's roasty, it's toasty. It kind of smells like an Irish dry stout with a bit of sweetness to it, like in a milk stout. And there is maybe an underlying aroma that is reminding me of cinnamon. It's very, very, very light. But I don't even know if the cookies are made with cinnamon or <laughs> what they are. It's so weird doing this without all the research I usually do. But hey, let's try it, guys. Cheers. So thanks to Hopped and Sabio Beer for the beer slash calendar. Super thin. Super, super, super thin beer. It's like drinking a lager almost, but it's... 4.5%, it's so rare I drink stouts at the, that ABV level. If I go for stouts, I want an Imperial usually, or around the 6% mark, six and a half. Just so you can get a little more oomph out of those when you have that much more malt to play with. But four, four and a half percent, it's got a good amount of flavor. It's got that roasted barley kind of toasty flavor. Um, you get an Irish dry stouts. I'm not getting loads of lactose, at all, really. I think if you just told me this was an Irish dry stout, I would believe you. Um, but there is a sweetness to it, a light one, but you can almost interpret that as oaty sweetness as well. And then I do see the cookie part of it, but it is like, it's like you took an Irish dry stout that has not been 
done with nitro. And then you dip some kind of festive cookie in there. I can't even really detect specifically spice. It just tastes kind of like festive. It's just like so subtle and light, which reminds me a lot of, I don't, I, I imagine Swiss beer culture is similar to German, but that's like, that's how German cult beer culture is. You know, it's like light, subtle, soft flavors. It's the same in this, but that's just not what I want in like a milk stout that's supposed to taste like some kind of Christmas cookie. At least in my book. But I think there is kind of like a light flavor that's reminding me of either cinnamon and clove or cardamom. Mostly clove and cinnamon. I'd say maybe even a hint of like an allspice flavor. But it's so light and so subdued. Not a bad beer at all though. Easy, easy drinkable. Very, very sessionable stuff. But probably not something I would... Um, like if I saw this on the shelf, I'd probably be excited because I saw a cookie something. Uh, beer. But... I don't know if it's something I'd pick up then, like when you see 4.5%. Uh, you kind of expect that, it, or don't expect it to be oomphing with the flavors, but not a bad beer. Uh, rating wise, 83. It's a nice drinkable stout, sweet stout. Uh, to me, almost more like an Irish dry stout because of the, I'm not tasting much lactose, but. It's a nice enough beer. I just I had a little higher hopes when I saw the whole Christmas cookie thing, whatever. That sounded really nice, but it's just not that popping compared to what I prefer. And that's, of course, 100% my own personal opinion. That's how it is. I rate subjectively on here, not according to style and whatnot. So that's how it is. Uh, but guys, if you had a chance to try these Spectaculos by White Frontier Brewery in Switzerland, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, yeah, that was the 6th of December of Sabrina Beers and Hop's Beery Christmas Calendar. Will be fun to count down the days of Christmas, see what's on the 24th. That will be really interesting to see. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you had a chance to try this one, let me know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers and see you tomorrow on the 7th of December for another uh, kind of blind review. Cheers.